Hi Cougars, I'm Cameron along with Jen and this is the Cougar Campus News. Calling all students, scheduling for 2018 and 2019 begins in a few short weeks. Please attend info sessions for those courses that is mandatory for to attend and those courses of interest to you. Info sessions begin next week and will be running until January 25th, 2018. Please see the info sessions scheduled on our school loop homepage. All clubs should get their group photo to the yearbook as soon as possible. You can email it to Ms. Lundstroth. If you have some great photos of your activities, you might get extra room in the yearbook. Hey seniors, now now's the time when you'll you'll to now is the time when you'll to turn in your senior quotes. Get the papers from your English teachers. You will have until February 5th to turn in your paper. Are you interested in helping out your fellow students and school? Are you interested in developing counseling skills? If so, please consider taking peer helpers next year. There will be information sessions on Tuesday the 16th and Friday the 19th at lunch in room D5. Stop by for more details. If you're interested in oceans and species that live in them, then you might want to take marine ecology next year. If you're thinking about taking marine ecology, you must come to a mandatory informational meeting on Friday, January 26th at lunch in Mr. Santoni's room K5. We will be discussing the topics covered in the course as well as the field study component of the class. If you are interested in learning more about why you should take AP Biology next year, please attend the information session on Friday, January 19th at lunch in Dr. Yerby's room, K4. We will discuss the course, requirements, and other fun stuff for the 2018 school year. All, eight, all students interested in taking AP Physics too, please attend the mandatory information meeting in Mr. Stack's class at lunch in K1 on Monday, January 22nd. Are you interested in the environmental challenges facing the world? If so, you might be interested in taking AP Environmental Science next year. Find out more about the AP Environmental Science class by coming to an informational meeting on Wednesday, January 17th at lunch in Mr. Santoni's room, K5. We'll discuss the workload and the types of labs, activities, and field trips that are a part of this class. Next week, there is a mandatory course information session for freshmen interested in taking independent study PE next year. You must attend the meeting to understand the requirements. It will take place next Tuesday, January 16th at lunch in room P3. Now, here's John with the sports. The boys varsity basketball team improved to a 2-0 in league play with a 77-54 win over Oceana. Ethan Menzies again led the way for the Cougars, scoring 34 points in three quarters of action on 13 for 17 from the field and 6 of 7 from the line. His picture-perfect alley-oop dunk on a pass from David Billington, who has had 6 assists, will go down in history books of HMBHS. Ethan added 15 boards, 2 block shots, and a steal. The boys' varsity soccer team beat Jefferson 3-2 on Wednesday. HMB struggled in the first half, then made changes to create more chances. First goal was by Gio Hamilton and assisted by Mauricio Alvarado. Then the second goal was scored by Mauricio Alvarado and assisted by Gio Hamilton. Then the third goal was scored by Octavio De Leon and assisted by Antonio Vega. The girls' soccer a varsity soccer team uh, fell to Cappuccino in Wednesday's match. The Cougars, who had only 13 players, battled in a tough game. The backfield of Veronica Krieger, Brianna Bree Marshall, Brianna Fritas, and Nikki Sorfleet shut down every encounter attack Cappuccino attempted. However, a couple unlucky goals late in the first half was enough to give Cappuccino the win. The wrestling team swept Al Camino in a dual league match. Students, to join Six Man Club, all you have to do to be a member is show up at basketball games and cheer with students section. We, uh, we will be selling shirts today in the quad, one for $20 and two for $30. Early release. 
JV Girls Basketball, 1.15 p.m. Varsity Boys Soccer, 2.30 p.m. JV Boys Basketball, 2.45 p.m. Now here's Mr. Olson with the Daily Trivia. Happy Friday out there, Half Moon Bay High School. The answer to Wednesday's question was the Detroit Lions. Several of you guessed the Cleveland Browns, but there was a time period when the Browns were known as the Baltimore Ravens. So the Lions are the only franchise that had been in existence the entire Super Bowl era, and yet they've never even played in the Super Bowl. We thank Mr. V for the question. Congratulations to Mr. Anderson and his fourth period class. They were the fastest answer. Today, the category, U.S. Presidents. Watch your email for the question for me and have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy the three-day weekend out there, Cougars.